Hello everyone, welcome back to Cello from the Beginning. Today we're going to have our first lesson on holding the instrument. But before we talk about uh, the correct position for the instrument, we have to talk about the correct position for ourselves. So obviously the cello is an instrument that we play seated. Uh, and that means that our chair is very, very important. So we have to have the right height of chair we have to have the right shape of chair and we have to sit in the right place in the chair. So let's talk about the height of the chair first. What is important about the height is that it not be too low. So the last thing that we want is for the chair to be so low that our knees are pushing up uh, this way. Our, the top of our thighs should be able to slope down slightly. Certainly no more than flat and probably sloping down is best uh, when our feet are in the correct position. And I'll adjust the camera in a moment so you can see that. Uh, but the worst thing is when we have a chair that is too short so that our, our legs and knees are pushed up like this. So you have to have a, a chair that's right for your height. Uh, and there are many different kinds of uh, specifically cello or instrumentalist chairs. Uh, I use one called an adjust right chair uh, that has an adjustable height. Uh, some people use adjustable stools, uh, but you just want to watch out for that it not be too short for you. The second thing is the slope of the chair, of the, of the seat of the chair. So the best is for the seat of the chair to slope down slightly, which is unusual and why we often have to have a specialty chair. Uh, most chairs are either flat which is okay, a lot of people can, can play in those. The worst of all is a chair where the seat is raised at the front so that it slopes towards the back of the chair. Because what happens is we're trying to sit here and we get pulled back all the way back in the chair. Uh, and it's very uncomfortable and it's hard on your back. So we want either a flat chair or a chair that's actually sloping down. Uh, and uh, so then we also want to talk about where we're sitting in the chair. So we don't sit all the way back. Uh, in this chair, I'm sitting about halfway forward. And I'm going to adjust this camera down now so you can see a little more of where I'm, of where I'm the angle of my legs. I'm going to change this even a bit more. There we go. So you can see that my thighs are sloping slightly down. Uh, and as far as the height of the cello, we have two places that we're looking at the height of the cello to make sure it's not too high or too low. Uh, one is where it rests, where this part of the cello rests. The other is where this part of the cello falls on our body. So we want to be careful that the instrument, let me show you what happens if this cello is too low. I'm going to lower my end pin a few inches. If the cello is too low, now my legs are well over the, the curve here of the bottom bout. So it needs to be up here. That then puts this edge right across the center line of my chest. Now there is some um, variation here. Different players will play with slightly different angles, slightly different heights, uh, depending on all sorts of things, including you know, the length of their torso, the length of their arms, what's particularly comfortable for them. But for a kind of good, neutral, basic beginning position, we want to get that, uh, this edge here, sitting right across the center line of the chest. And that should, if your chair is the correct height and angle, put your thighs sloping down to where they are coming in below these corners. If those corners are low and digging into your leg here, then it's probably too low or the wrong angle. So for me, uh, they're, especially this one, so me, for me, they're, they're up slightly. This corner here does just barely touch uh, my leg. And it depends on how, uh, where I'm putting my, uh, exactly how I'm positioning my legs. So the traditional position in cello for your legs is left leg forward and right leg slightly back. That, that also pulls the slope of your thighs down both cases. Now, uh, 
a lot of people don't stay in this position. If you're playing cello for a long time, it can really, uh, your knees get tired. And so uh, I may play with both legs forward. I may reverse that. Uh, that's just a, a kind of common starting position is left leg, for, left leg forward, right leg back. But the most important thing is to, again, maintain that slightly downward slope on the thighs. So let me bring this camera back up. It's too far. Okay, so let's talk about the position of the cello on your chest. So obviously I can't bring the cello in directly in front of me like this because the, the uh, neck comes up and hits my head. So I have to find a way to get that around. So the cello is at a slight angle in order to bring the neck around. And I'm not trying to get this part of the cello centered on my chest. I'm getting this right side of the cello centered on my chest. The other thing is the cello is not perfectly flat, but is tilted slightly this way, tilted into your right. So I bring it in here, I tilt it slightly into the right. That raises this string, the A string, we'll talk about that in another episode, and lowers this lower string slightly. So it's not flat here. This would be perfectly a parallel to my torso. I'm tilting it right here. And then another measure of the height of the instrument is where uh, this lowest peg on the right side is touching. So for me, if I've got it at the right height, it's right about the middle of my ear. Now you will see people play with different angles. Some people uh, will play with an angle where the neck is pushed a little lower. Some people play with a little more upright of an angle. Uh, we just want to avoid the extremes. You don't want this cello to be so low that it's like this, where uh, the, the neck is pushed down to your shoulder. We also don't want it to be so far uh, upright, like this, that it's really pushed out in front of you. So we adjust the end pin with the little screw here to, uh, to find the right angle. And this will, the height of your end pin is going to vary uh, on every chair that you sit in. So you may go somewhere else and play and the height of the end pin will be completely different from the height of the end pin that you're using at home. It's, it's just the way it is when you play cello. Uh, you, you have to take what you get in terms of chairs when you go out in public uh, to perform or to play anywhere. So you will find yourself frequently adjusting that end pin, even maybe just slightly, half inch this way, half inch that way, until you find the comfortable place. So uh, the main lessons then again are right back edge of the cello across the center line of the chest, the upper part of the lower bouts here, uh, thigh coming in underneath here and maybe just kind of touching here. A, a good angle, not too vertical, not too horizontal. And also very important posture you always want to be sitting up straight. You never want to collapse over pushing that lower back out and collapsing into the instrument like this. Uh, this is, it would be a terrible habit and will really hurt your back. So it's not a hyper posture. It's not a military with the posture with the, the back curved in and the chest puffed out. It's just a, a, a nice straight spine. And uh, you can kind of practice kind of hugging the instrument like this, bringing your arms around, and that'll, and that'll kind of bring it into a good position. So uh, the, the, it, is, it is very comfortable once you find it. You can have a lot of problems at first, especially this is a very common problem with beginners, is pushing the instrument out this way so that you can look at your fingers comfortably. Because of course, if it's here, it's very hard to see your fingers and everybody wants to look at their fingers. So you'll find, you know, the cello getting pushed out here. This is no good. We can't play here. The angles are all wrong. The, the arm angle, left, left and right arm angles are wrong. Has to be pulled in here like this. Uh, we'll talk later about you know, how, to, how to look at your fingers, but the short answer is you look at your fingers by moving up here, not by pushing the instrument over here. So hug that instrument, uh, play with the different heights, I'll put some links in the description to some of the different chair options that, that I've used in my studio 
and the ones that are my favorites. Uh, and but really, you have to partly get used to playing in, in any uh, chair. When, but it's nice to have a good chair when you're practicing at home, when you're going to be spending hours and hours, uh, day after day, week after week, year after year, sitting in that chair. There's, there's no reason to have a bad chair or an uncomfortable chair. So we'll see you next time.